Hello. On behalf of the Sheep Hill Astronomical Association, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of What's in the Sky. We're going to break with our established format and just focus on one specific object. Let's talk about Comet Neowise. This comet has been causing quite a stir in astronomy circles around the world. Neowise stands for the satellite that found it. Near Earth Objects Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. For us in the northeastern area of the country, we can see it about an hour or so after sunset low in the northwestern sky. 10 p.m. is a good time to go out and find it. Look for the Big Dipper and work your way down to just above the horizon. There are a few maps here to help you find it, as well as a few shots our members have taken so far. One of the reasons this comet is so spectacular and survived its trip around the sun is because its nucleus is quite large for a comet. According to Joseph Mazziero, NEOI's principal investigator at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the infrared signature indicates the nucleus is about five kilometers or three miles across. One thing to note is that this is a periodic comet, so it will be back. However, you'll have to wait around 6,800 years. So go out and see this celestial sight. One more thing. Go visit apolloinrealtime.org. It's been 51 years since we first set foot on the moon, and you can watch and listen to the whole Apollo 11 mission if you wish, or you can view the Apollo 13 or Apollo 17 missions. Thank you for joining me. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep looking up.